we have something really new because it's the first time we are showing it to anyone. We just uh, finished, uh, you know, for a year ago, we showed it at the Muni show, our uh, monitor called the M1s. Um, and, um, and we started to ship them out for a few months ago and be very successful with this small um, monitor for a price of, including stands for only $100,000. And that's a <coughs> hell of a lot of money, to be honest. And uh, it's not for, <laughs> Yeah, for like sound quality, maybe yes. So this is the first of the big sisters, and this is the new M3 we're going to review for you. Yeah. Right. Without further ado. And uh, you know we um, we create ecocentric part for ecocentric people. It doesn't mean you cannot enjoy it there, even outside the room, but uh, exactly on that seat, <laughs> they're pointing in exactly there. Uh, I'll play a piece of music for you to, to start out and start to tell you a little about uh, the achievements we have in, in this pair of speakers. Um, everything we know we have put into both the M1 and in the M3s. We are handcrafting all drivers in-house. The heart of any speaker is actually your tweeter. Our tweeter is a ribbon planner and um, yeah, they have a lot of advantages. When uh, first of all, the tweeter itself have an efficiency of only 94 dB, so it's a very very powerful. So this uh, rectangular piece here is actually the, the moving part of it. The weight of that membrane is only one one hundredth of a gram. It's one hundredth of a millimeter thick and can handle temperatures up to 700 degrees Celsius. So it's no more or less impossible to burn it. But when you have something light, it cannot store energy. Zero mass means no energy stored. So it's approximately between uh, 60 to 100 times less moving away than any dome sphere. So uh, that means even the tiny signal will be reproduced it, it will start right away and stop right away. So when you have more mass as a dome trader, means that when people are talking about high risk like crazy, if you have a dome trader, you, you, you don't have it because they cannot. Of course, they can maybe play 50 uh, kilohertz. Yeah, but that's a simple thing as a sinus wave. It's easy. But when it's all level, these more microdynamics in our music and the transients. They cannot cause of the mass and cause of a much less motor system. So behind the membrane here we have the strongest uh, neodymium magnets called N52 in the world. They're approximately seven to eight times stronger than uh, normal neodymium and can handle high temperature without losing their magnetism. So that's uh, the heart of our speakers more or less in any of our speakers. Uh, the new exits we have upstairs on the 16th floor uh, have the same membrane there, but a, a less powerful motor system. We have only efficiency of 90 dB, but still we use neodymium magnets. A patent on it. It was for a guy, Peter Jensen, for more exactly 100, 102 years ago who made the, the first dynamic driver. So it's why we are famous doing drivers and speakers in Denmark because we invented it when it comes to dynamic drivers. So um, there's something called ion distortion. And when you use uh, soft ions to focus the, uh, the felt lines around the voice cord, you have an issue because when the voice cord is moving out, it's looking into less and less iron, and when you move the other way around, it look into more and more iron. And that means actually 400 hertz out here is not the same as in here. It used to, it's also one of the reasons why we can hear speakers. So uh, what we do is that I have uh, one of uh, the most intelligent partners, business partners in, I know of. His name is Michael Burson. Um, I have left two really well paid jobs <laughs> because of him, because if uh, an owner or 
a guy running a company can't see the potential in one of the best, you really have an issue. So uh, Michael have invented this. So what we have, you can see the outside rings are neodymium N52, where we push uh, North Pole against North Pole and have a covering. In this case, we have a silver ring, or actually two silver rings. So we spend uh, half a kilogram of pure silver in each of these motors over here. So what we achieve here is that we push the North Pole against North Pole and inside we squeeze South Pole against South Pole. So we, so to say, squeeze the magnetic uh, force around the wash coil. So we don't have iron. Another advantage is we got, uh, even with the coppering, is this driver have only around 10% of the inductance of any other driver on the market. Mm. We'll come back to inductance. It's not good to have high inductance anywhere in any system. So uh, yeah, we have a patent on it. We are only guys in the world who have an iron-free motor system. Hmm. Let's play another piece of music. So, you even melt the uh, silver. The silver, yeah, yeah. The silver rings we use in the magnet motor system. We actually sent as in factory. Uh, it's sterling silver, and in each of the drivers we have half a kilogram. And uh, one kilogram of, of sterling silver today is only around eleven eleven hundred dollars. Then we machine it. Then we send it down to the Institute of Technology in Aarhus. They are bombarding it for only 92 hours. The first layer on the silver rings is uh, uh, titanium nitrate, then titanium, then uh, tungsten, then uh, zirconium, and the outside is 100% pure silver, which Mother Nature cannot do it uh, until it starts to oxidize. So uh, that's a very uh, expensive a magnet motor system. The reason why in the, in the intro level of the what we call the OCS, we use the copper rings. Uh, and uh, what we achieve with the copper rings in, in the motor system is uh, something we didn't expect, is that this motor system only have 10% of the inductions of any other dynamic driver on the market. So when you use the silver rings instead, hmm, it reduces the inductions even uh, with 7 to 8%. Silver sounds good. Copper sounds good. We believe that any material you use anywhere, in a speaker, in a cable, in an amplifier, you hear it. I'll show you why we are not so fond of aluminum. We think it's really bad, actually. I'll show you why we mean this. So I have two identical voice call formers made by a very famous German <laughs> company, by the way. Uh, and this one is, uh, the voice coil former itself is in aluminum, and this one is in titanium. Have you ever heard any music instrument made out of aluminum? No, because it's sounding shitty. <laughs> it's why they did not use it anywhere. Oh, there was a guy at the Bristol show for a few years ago, said, last, I have played a guitar where the whole body and uh, was made in aluminum. I asked the guy, how did it sound? Yeah, the magnet uh, microphone on it. I know that very well, well because I have three on the guitars. It's the most shitty guitar I have ever heard in my entire life. Mm. So when we see these massive amplifiers, massive speakers made in aluminum, we, we think they're really, really wrong. We think they have, <clears throat> when it comes to mechanics, have. I swear a little bit now. Fucking no clue. This former is made in aluminum. And when I put it into a magnetic FC, it's floating down. Whoa, whoa. And you feel the resistance moving up and down. Mm. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Keep it. Yeah. Try that. Mm. Whoa. It creates hysteresis, its own magnetic force called eddy current. So, again talking about high risk, and you have a voice call for me, and you're a speaker, a driver, you don't have it. You cannot. Because they also need a much higher level of signal before they can move and stop again. The only problem with a titanium voice call for me is around 20% more expensive than the other one. Oh, I think we should try it out.
This is the titanium. Titanium. Don't okay. worry. If you don't know, can yeah, keep it. Hold the in the meantime. So I'm playing now. Let's try. Cameraman. Titanium. Yeah. Aluminum. Very slow. Kind of oddly satisfying, though. <laughs> yeah. I like the, I like that movement. Maybe not in my speaker, but I do like that movement. <laughs> you could you could sell that as something else. <laughs> Very cool. So, uh,